What's going on with the YouTube? It's your boy 345 German. In today's video, we're gonna be installing the oil pitch can on the 345, man. So, as I can't see, I told y'all I'm making this a scat joint to make sure y'all I'm gonna be doing as much as I can to add it as much scat parts and all that shit like it so I can have a scat. So, um, we're gonna be doing the installation. So, make sure our boy sticks it in because we're about to throw this on there, man. First step first, you want to get to a little ratchet. Um, you need to do a 12 millimeter yard. So I got my 12, got my little ratchet right here. And I got a little screwdriver just in case. A little drill with the screwdriver if that makes sense. And then you gotta have the part itself. The part right here. And we're gonna install that. But first thing you wanna do is you wanna go ahead, go inside, and you wanna pop the hood, of course. So go ahead, open up the door. Alright guys, and this is where magic happens. So if you do got the engine cover on, y'all, you will have to remove the engine cover for the, uh, for the time being and then you can put it back on when you're done. But um, it's real simple, y'all. So this this right here, I don't know if y'all can catch it on camera as good as I can, but it's one little clip right here that's holding this in. And what you need to do is you need to take it out. So it's a little push pan clip. And they told me that you just pull it out with two hands. So I'm about to go ahead and try to pull this out without burning my hands and shit because it is hot. Cause I was just driving it, of course, but I'ma actually just pry it out. I'm about to go ahead and give me a flathead screwdriver and pry it out, y'all, because it's a clip. Instead, I don't find my little prop breaker, so let me try to do this without dropping my goddamn shit. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and try to pry this motherfucker out. Yep. <gasps> y'all, that's not good. That is not good, y'all. That bitch done broke on the inside of my shit, y'all. So, we about to try to figure out how I can get this shit up out my shit. Hey, y'all, I did some dumb shit. I'm going on ahead and still try to drill in the side while I was in there because I'm irritated as fuck. I know I did not just spend this cheese on a sense so I fought to not work. So, I went on ahead and I put that bitch in there. Like, I forced this way in there, so. Righty, tighty, lefty, goosey. So, we're going to force it back in there one more time and try to get it in there, y'all. If I can get it in there, I'm going to let y'all know. Y'all going to see. Day two. Back again. It's pretty much day two. Um, so, yesterday, I was trying to get my, uh, my oil catch can put in, y'all. And I was having some problems because, um taking out the clip from the last one it broke on the inside so i had to try to figure out how to get it out i couldn't get it out so i had to try to do something else so it's day two and we're gonna try to get this boy in there once again i don't know if y'all can see it but the hole is right there but i accidentally got a clip stuck inside of it so i don't know how we about to get this screw to go in there but we're about to try to see what we can do y'all so we done finally found the way to get this up in here it ain't it ain't the tightest y'all but this is as good as it's gonna get for now I'm going to try to get the hoses in there, and then I'm going to show you what it's looking like after. All right, our first hose, we're about to take it up out of these zip ties real quick. And then when we take these up out of the zip ties, I'm going to show you all the process and what we got to do with the oil hose right there. All right, y'all. So what y'all want to do is, I already started to do it a little bit without y'all, but you want to put these hoses on. So yeah, like I said, I done got one of the hoses. Hold on. Let me go ahead and take this off real quick because it's still loose. And then let me get a ratchet and figure out how I'm going to tighten that up down there. Right, y'all. So we done had to move the fucking air intake box, bro, because that big ass shit that was right here, bro, that shit was in my way from me scoring the damn, bro. I don't know why they put that big ass shit for the tallies, bro, but um, now you want to pull your hoses out on both ends, y'all, so... Pull both hoses out. This bitch. They kinda and they're good, y'all. So you gotta give it a little tug. And this one you gotta like wiggle out. So I'm gonna wiggle this out when I get off a of cam. And give me one second. So when y'all take off the old hose, y'all wanna keep these two in there. So you wanna push this back in. Like how it was OEM type shit. You wanna push this back in there. Boom. You wanna keep those. And with the little adjusters that it came with, these long ones, y'all, y'all want to stick these in there. Yep, just like that. Boom, we stick it in there. I don't know if y'all can see. Got the second one. I'm going to stick it in this one right here. Push it in there. Make sure it's nice and snug. On both sides. Now we take this filter. This hand right here. Oh, 
All right, y'all. So I'm cutting my hoses because my hose is too long right now. So I'm trying to uh, cut it to shorten it down. And when I get done doing this, uh, I'm gonna show y'all the process after. Y'all see, I did the first side. Uh, I had to cut it to shorten it. Hold on, let me show y'all. Look, I don't have to cut it and everything, y'all. So mine's came too long, so I gotta cut them. So, give me one second. Hey, right, y'all, we done finally got the hoses to go in there, man. This one not really on there. The perfect is as, as, as perfect as, as it should be, but this hose in there. I hope this don't affect it by no way, but um, I'm about to go ahead, screw the bottom on, put the end ticket back on, and we should be done with this installation, y'all. I wouldn't be able to show y'all as much as I wanted to because this in, this intake was in my way, and then I had to do a lot of adjusting that I didn't think I had to, so... um. I just hope y'all got as, as much information as y'all could and y'all like this installation video type shit. Go ahead and put this intake box back in. Check this back on top. Line these up. Perfect. Make sure that's on top. Yep, it's on there. Get your flathead. And you wanna make sure, I'm gonna push up on here and show y'all at the same time. I apologize y'all, but you screw this on a real tight with your flathead. Boom. Not real tight, but you want to get it tight to where you can. Okay, good. No wiggle space. You got two screws over here. You got one. You got two. Then you got your third. Let me go ahead and get the... Uh, Get this, get this one in. This one. Two. And now for the last one, the third right here. And then we gotta plug our hose back in too, y'all. Just had to go over them all one more time. You know how you got to make sure you do all your work twice, y'all. Y'all never want to make sure your shit not tight. Had no problems. Last things last. Plug this hose back in. And boom. Thought I made it to the end of the video. I hope y'all boys like the video, man. And make sure y'all like, comment, share, subscribe. And if I get some more mods in the uh, future, I'm going to be doing more installation videos. Solid. I see the grass get long, snakes, I'm gon' mow it, I'm gon' blow like brown, racks on me, I'm sorry, talk here, top of the morning, I'm in the car, got motion, bib ain't wrong, can't fall.